guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nay. If you are new, hi and welcome. Today's Manifestation Wednesday video is going to be about the three shortcuts that I use when I manifest. These are guaranteed to manifest your manifestations very quickly. So I'm going to share with you guys my top three shortcuts. So let's get started. So my first shortcut is going to be giving. The more that you give, the more that you will receive. And in turn, the more of whatever you give, the more of that you will receive back. The main thing here is that when you give initially, you don't wanna give for the sole purpose of receiving. You wanna give just to show that you're in abundance and that you're open and showing the universe that this is what you want in life. So for example, if you wanna manifest money, the more money that you give, the more that you will openly receive. You're showing the universe that when you look at money, you look at money as a flow, you're looking at money as a positive thing and you're not looking at it as some stressful thing that you're worried about all the time. Another example would be that if you want to manifest friendship, you want to give friendship, you want to show that, you want to give that to other people so that you're manifesting what you're receiving. Whatever you give at the other end, there's always going to be a receiving. So make sure that you're giving what you want out of life. If you're giving harsh and negative energy, that's what you're going to receive in turn. So make sure that you're giving out good vibrations, give as much of it as you can to other people. I am so sorry about this lighting. Whatever you give, you are showing that you live in abundance of that thing. You wanna to give to the point of comfort. You don't wanna to give too much that you're causing stress and anxiety and you're giving away things that you initially feel that you don't have enough of. But when you do give, make sure that you're thanking the universe for this. Feel all the feelings of when you do give that to that other person, whether that's love, friendship, money, whatever the case may be. So basically here, the core purpose of this is that you are what you give. And whatever you give, you're allowing that to flow into your life freely. So the second shortcut that I have is acceptance. And that could be with anything in life. Wherever you are in life is temporary. Wherever you are is made to be for a purpose. You need to accept where you are before you can move forward. If you're in constant state of rejection and fear of whatever the case may be in your present moment now, you will never move forward with your life because you're not accepting what you have now. When you reject something, whether that's like negative thoughts, whatever you're going through in the present, rejection is such a low vibrational energy compared to acceptance. When you learn to accept whatever the present moment is and learn and grow from that and change your thoughts towards the present, the more you will see abundance and flow come into your life. I actually um, saw a quote on Kim Zolciak's, I think it was like Instagram or Snapchat recently, and she she basically is um, a former housewife and she's really big on the law of attraction and one of the things that she posted was that there are three things that you need to change in your life in order to get what you want and those three things are thoughts, your words, and your actions. When you're changing your thoughts and you're changing your words and you're changing your actions rather than being victimized and accepting where you are now and appreciating where you are now and showing gratitude for where you are in the present moment now, that's when things will start to change and that's when things will be flowing into your life. So whenever you do go through this process of acceptance, that is initially when you're becoming more self-aware and you're learning how to better live your life, whatever the circumstances may be. You become aware and you see and you recognize your thoughts and the power of your thoughts, the ability to control your thoughts in a good and positive way. And the more you do this, the more you will live in abundance and the more that you are grateful for where you you are and the things that happen in your life, that's when you will start to see things change. Trust me, I've learned this from experience. And my third and final tip is to focus all of your energy on one thing of the day and I want that thing to be a happy thing, something that made your day. So I've actually tried this multiple times and it has worked so tremendously. If you're ever having a rough day, if you're ever having a good day, we tend to focus on a lot of the negative things or the things that are stressing us because they're constantly on our mind. For example, that could be a deadline, something that you regret, something that you did that you wish that you didn't do, something that you want to do but you're trying to get the courage to do. And you tend to focus all of your energy and all of your ability 
on that thing and that's what you become. You become your thoughts. So if good things are happening and flowing into your life all day, no matter what, you're gonna be constantly worrying about that one issue. Whatever you focus on, you become, so you're focusing on that issue and that's what you're gonna be living. You're gonna be living in abundance of that thing. So instead of doing that, something that I've learned is whenever I catch myself doing that, I tend to focus all of my energy on one thing of the day that made me happy, something that made me smile, something that brought me happiness, and that could be as simple as taking a nap, filming a video, the sun being out, having somebody open the door for you, like something so small like that, like whatever made your day, whatever was like the sole purpose of your day, whatever brought you happiness that day, focus all of your attention on that. That just really changes your mind like that and I promise you it does. So if you're ever feeling that you're not manifesting anything and you don't know why, try shifting your energy and shifting your focus onto something that made you positive and happy that day. Um, I know I always say write three things that you're grateful for, but what was that one thing that just really, really made your day? Something that I have as an example was that Noah and I recently went on a road trip and some lady when we were getting food just rolled down her window and started talking to us and was like really happy and smiling and like she just like totally made my day and I don't know what it was but she just like her good energy was so cute and innocent and, like she was like this older lady and telling us what she ate like you don't see that very often so that really made my day and I focused all of my energy that day on that person I was so grateful for that it really made me smile and it was just a really good moment in my day and that's something that I really do when I'm trying to manifest whenever I'm trying to manifest something um, shifting your energy like that really really could make the difference so that is it for my video I am so sorry about the lighting I'm in front of my window all the time so if you ever see my lighting go in and out it's usually just because the Sun is going in and out I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any shortcuts about the law of attraction please please let me know um, you guys honestly teach me so much like I know that I'm the ones making videos but you guys asking questions and like telling me your success stories down below really really make my day and I'm so thankful for them some things that you guys mentioned I don't even know about so this is all learning progress in life between me and you I'm not the one just teaching here like I literally learned so much from you guys and I just want to say thank you for that thank you so much so please keep it up if you have any questions or success stories that you want to share leave them down below give this video a thumbs up if you liked it let me know if you guys have any more video requests for me and I will see you guys all in another video. Bye guys!